Hey guys, it's Mr. Switch. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a miniature tour of a few things that I have. Just some of the things I've encountered since maybe around February, March. Some of the little things I want to just open up a few things here. I haven't really done a video like this since like never. Just kind of wanted to start figuring out what I want to do with you know possibly around maybe October I want to start streaming I just have to first um, first buy the product I need for the right streaming I'm gonna stream my switch pretty much the only thing I want to stream maybe do a couple other things here I'm just watching my favorite peeps at first I used to follow a lot of other youtubers and I still do like I definitely loved and enjoyed um, some of Obi Wan plays videos a lot of C and D, but it looks like these two guys, Danny and Felia, have grown on me a lot. So I just wanted to say a lot of the inspiration comes from the three. Now it's a lot more coming more from from the Nintendo Power Couple. As you can tell, I have my Switch outfit, the one I made, and I'm planning to design. We'll fix the hat up. Still got to work on the edges here from the way the Mario's hat really looks like. I want to make uh, my next appearance in about October, I think it's October 27th, I think, when Mario Odyssey comes out. So, let's see. <clears throat> this is my, <clears throat> a few of my few games. This is my, my Switch box and controllers. And my children. Poster. <clears throat> Maybe I'll talk a little bit about myself and what I normally do. Fit Nation, if you see here, is a gym. I work at a gym and I just, you know, I'm lead manager. I take care of the gym for nights. I used to work in the mornings for a a grocery store, but I think I'm, I, I let that go. Just I need to pursue other things and something better in the mornings, maybe more of a full-time job or, you know, instead of um, <clears throat> messing around and playing with cilantro and onions, let's see, I recently started doing the Nintendo Force magazine, something that I definitely enjoy. My first, I got my first magazine, I think, uh, two months ago. I'm waiting for the next one. I used to collect Nintendo Power Power magazine when I was younger, so I, st I have about 14 years worth of those magazines still up in my parents' attic. So I definitely was excited to get this first issue since they discontinued the Nintendo Power um, magazine. Let's see um, what I normally do on my spare time. Let's see, I'm usually sketching a few things. Something for a book I'm writing. Just some ideas. I can't tell you about it. <laughs> Not yet. A lot to do with um, this image here. And inside that image, uh, two children walk into this. So it's just kind of a, just an idea of what I've been up to. Just writing my book piece by piece let's see what else <clears throat> a few of my little things I've collected <laughs> it was okay it tasted pretty good but I think it was meant more for kids some of my little things from the McDonald's and my birthday cake that was pretty fun let's see what we got my hat that I uh, got signed by Triforce and c and I think I look more like a farmer when I wear this hat. I think it's okay. This right here was a, a uh, Sharpie that um, Triforce um, signed my hat with. 
I think I went downstairs to the uh, Rockefeller basement and I came back to return him his pen and he just vanished. I guess he was busy, he had to make a run. It was late that night with seeing the entire force. So it was pretty cool, it was fun. Let's see. I'm gonna place this right here. But to make this stand still, I have to buy a proper camera. So when I actually start streaming this here, I got this last week on my birthday for my kids. So it's a cartridge canteen. I never thought they'd have things like this. First time I'm actually opening it, this is like what a week later. So, oh, a lot of stuff in here. Where's the trash can? Where's it at? Oh, it's fine. Oh, cool. This looks really neat. Looks like it's like the exact size of man, this back in the day. Let's see, I think this is where yeah, this is where you put in your your water or your whatever you want to put in there. I don't know. A beer. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. But yeah, this is oh this is so awesome. I just can't blow into that to make it work. It's not a game. Yeah. Places right here. Let's see, got this the other day at a GameStop. Okay, I had to pause right there. I had to answer the door for someone, for a child wanting to get into the door. We live on the third floor. They buzz in. I gotta let them in. Otherwise, I would be in trouble. <laughs> see, oh, here it is. Let's see. I think this, I think it lights up somehow. Let's see, it got triple A batteries. Now, this looks really neat. I like it already. It's the, um, well, I have to explain where it is. It's a Pixel Pals for um, Super Mario Bros. 3. Let's see, where does this go? Oh, here we go. Cool, let's see. I'll get this open real quick. I'm just gonna have to start doing these kind of things. You know, anything I buy from the store, GameStop or such that I like. I'm just gonna start. Alright, let's see, let's turn around. Cool. Well, you can't really, I mean, you can tell that it turns on by with the light from my phone. this maybe sit at times when I'm playing at night dark lights off playing my switch this by the way I got for my brother Angel he traded I got another one I got another Zelda one and he just made the trade oh shoot I forgot one more thing I think everyone knows how to play this game I love this game. It's definitely gonna love it more with uh, Mario Bros on it. It's awesome. I feel like I don't never want to open these. Like never. They just it's just that cool. I don't want them to bend, but oh man, it's gotta play with the right people, not to bend them. Take care of your stuff.
these are the Odyssey hat eyes, which will go in place in my switch costume. Of course, it looks good on me. I think it, I think it looks cool. Figure wise, this is a hat. Let me see if I can keep this standing. Well, this is going to be difficult. Does this have better or the uh, I'm trying to turn right this one which one looks better on me you want to tell me I hope the eyes are still ah. well you get the point it's gonna go on that uh. what we got here on oh, the next episode here we got the main menu on my switch I have kind of a problem with the joystick right now. I think it goes where if I'm playing Zelda, maybe I can uh, see it's happening right now. Close that out. Sonic Mania is actually pretty awesome. It's really cool. These are all the um, people, all the users I have here. Myself, Mr. Switch. I got uh, Bullseye, which is my uh, girlfriend's kid. They do 360 is my son and DJX uh, Mental. I have no idea why my daughter wanted to put that name, but that's what she wants. Um, this is my girlfriend's daughter, Gymnast One, and my girlfriend, Yessie. Let's go into mine. I think what happens is that if I'm ducking down, if I'm just trying to hide behind a bush or something like that, or just trying to be sneaky at Zelda. Right now, sometimes he's just going to move on his own. And then I get caught up and then... Let's see. Playing master mode right now. <clears throat> I wish I would have beat the game first through master mode. But of course you have to, you know, beat the game first before you can get that. Well, actually... I think I could have just started with uh, mass mode, maybe. It is pretty hard, and I am wearing the coolest outfit ever. I think it's a Tinko outfit. Let's see, I had to rescue my horse. Let's see if I'm gonna. I'm just going to. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna move, see if it happens. So there he goes. He's, he's moving on his own. He's not moving. He's going to run into a tree. Oh, no. He's climbing it. <laughs> My bad. Well, yeah, that's what happens. I think what is, I'm trying to do here, maybe a way of possibly fixing it. I mean, I can still play with it, working with it. Just have to be extra careful. But, you know, there's a lot of us people playing, playing the game and each different game and Splatoon or Zelda other games let's see where was I gonna be I was gonna go into what's the system settings let's see no nope, of course not got to remember what I was gonna go at now I should be at system settings let's see controllers and sensors I think this option here for calibrate control sticks, calibrate motion controls, calibrate control sticks. See, I'm trying to, I've done it a few times, but nothing, it just keeps, it keeps happening. Let's see. It says, press down on stick that you want to calibrate. So.
course, let's see, turn the stick and check the circle color changes. Press X to recalibrate if the stick's not working as expected. I don't know if it's something internally like in the control or let's see. <clears throat> X. Let's calibrate. To right. See right when I go right, there it is. It's it's, it's fine. Go back, go down, release. It seems to work just as fine to release. But here goes, I think this is the part where it messes up. I'm trying to go up. Oh, it actually worked out pretty good this time. Usually, like, lets me just go, like, halfway up. Okay, let's do this. Ho hopefully, one of these times, I'll be complete. I'm just hoping it works out. would say so far playing Zelda has been one of the greatest experiences I had ever in a video game. Splatoon, you know, I work, you know, working a lot and being busy with life. I definitely loved I loved the game too. It's great. I just need to have more time with it. I want to get time with it. The kids are always having time with it. It's fine. It's fine, you know. I Mario Kart is definitely one of the all-time favorites and I love playing this one. I I am and me I and me is one I got for my daughter about two cute cats it's like a little puzzle game everyone should love one to switch this one here it's was the ACA you know, Geo also mission two it's cool it's cool I just wish I had a second player for that who wants to play implosion all these other games that you know I think most people got this one from the beginning Street Fighter two one of the uh, classics. That I definitely love from back in the day. Brings back memories. Let's see. Definitely. Let's see. Try a little Sonic Media. Definitely brings back the Sega! old Sega times. I just remember going to Sam's Club when I was maybe about 10 years old or so like I'm right now I'm a little lower the volume I was 37 oh I'm 37 now but I think around when I was 10 or so playing this game always wanted to go to whenever my mom says hey we're going to go to Sam's Club I only wanted to go to Sam's Club to check out the display of Sonic the only reason to see Mania Mode Later on, I wanted, hoping that at, um, I think I explained earlier, when Mario Odyssey comes out, I have to have my, my streaming stuff, you know, the things I need to make sure I can actually start streaming, and I'm hoping by then, I don't want to keep doing this through my phone. Definitely feels just like it's like the original Sonic added added with extra content and the funny thing is playing Sonic as a young kid I love playing the first two levels and I probably tried the next two or so, but I never ever completed the game. Never got the game, just always at Sands Club or so. If I tried it somewhere, I just never had a chance to complete it. And now I've been 
maybe at least in level 5 now. It's just such a great game. It's like I missed out, but I had a lot of other things. I was more into like Nintendo games at the time. Sega was definitely always a part of some gaming history and oh, what we got here. Let's see. This is a pretty cool part of the game. Whoa, going a little faster here. Oop, wrong way. I think most of my gaming definitely comes from having a Atari. Oh, we go a little bit faster from the beginning, just playing a, little, a game. I think the game was called um, what's it called? Battle Tank. After that, I was I was too young. I just remember that a little bit. Then the NES came along. My older brothers. I have six old. Most well, I have six brothers. I got five older. Four older. Hold on, let's see, uh, and they, they were always hogging up the system with the NES. I think when the Super NES came out, I had a lot more gameplay, playing Mario, picking up some of my favorite games of all time. All right, here we go. Crud. Wow, twice. Okay, let's do this. That was fun. That was easy. Two hits. Let's get out of there. Let's see. Well, I got my Joy Cons. I got them. They're just a little too big. Yeah, they're too big for my um. Yeah, for switch. And these are the ones I I had worn at the um in New York. I just we rented um SUV. Took the costume, flipped it in the back, made the trip, got a few signatures alongside here. Hopefully, I can get some more signatures before I, you know, you know, and end up uh, placing this on a maybe somewhere in a nice part of my room, like a little statue kind of thing. Uh, who knows? So it took about a month to create this whole costume. Got the cape back here. This was part of the um, Odyssey hat. I just took that part off. Yeah, I would say with fabrics and uh, cardboard and bending and cutting and putting some screws. And like some of these have actually screws inside them. 
see here, the laptop. Checking out my channel. Hopefully when I start streaming I can start hopefully receiving some more subscribers. I have to figure out <laughs> just a few there. Let's see what we got here. Definitely this is uh only one plays. Definitely has some great content. This is cool, cool guy, just always definitely about his family and his gaming and always involves again his family and just you know, always got something good. He's funny, comical, so definitely someone definitely great to, to watch if you don't have him subscribe. Subscribe him. Let's see a bunch of these other guys. I got the Nintendo, the Switch Force. They're pretty cool as well. Everyone knows Sandy. And definitely Mr. Vaca. Definitely a great guy. Definitely there for the children. Let's see. His classmates. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think it's his latest video. Nintendo Power. I mean, Mr. Vaca's Nintendo Club. That's what I need to say. Work hard, play hard. And if you're again, if you do not have these guys, you have to subscribe to these guys. Definitely, they definitely, you know, they definitely answer to your to your calls, to your texts, and they definitely have great content and doing a lot more. And it's definitely exciting whenever something up, something a new video comes up. Definitely ready for that. These again definitely became my how you say my most wanted when I gotta see an episode I can't wait to see one I get more excited my favorite new um, youtubers and it's gonna stay like that I'm sure they're always gonna be on top of their game it's all their great videos that's pretty much it for now I think I'm gonna just uh, I don't know maybe I'll game it right now for a little bit you know before I go to um, to the gym go work Definitely missing my kids. Haven't seen them in like two weeks. They're on vacation. Let's see what I can do. Maybe clean up a little bit of my mess. Well, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Definitely forgot to mention. I didn't even see this. It was in the box. This uh, like little case for it. Looks like I got the real Zelda game right here. Okay, and I forgot something else. Looking into the box. Next time you open a box, look inside. I see. Look, look, I just showed you guys this part here, but then just trying to didn't realize. Can you straw? Okay, even cooler. Nope. I don't know if the kids are going to love this, but uh, it's for me. Let's see if we can get some extra ones later. GameStop only had one.